What up, y'all? It's your boy School back at it. Um, yeah, I went to Dollar General tonight, um, a little earlier tonight, and uh, bought you know these three Matchbox cars. Um, this Dollar General, you know, it usually don't get nothing anymore. Usually, it had Hot Wheels and Matchbox. They for a while they ended up stop not having Matchbox no more, just Hot Wheels. But then they went from full pegs for for Hot Wheels to nothing at all. I mean, and I didn't even. Well, you could say that you know you could ask the folks up there if they got any Hot Wheels, but you know, I just you know don't even bother to. You know, because them folks, they give you so much of a, of a attitude that you just say, fuck it, you know, I don't, uh, but anyway, uh, that, all that is neither here nor there. Uh, we got these three Matchbox cars to, to look at. <clears throat> I mean to go to another, go to a better Dollar General um, in this town. You know, you had to go way on the other side of town, and even even then, you know, uh, you ain't guaranteed to find nothing. Since we got a whole bunch of collectors in this town, our our Dollar General, man, it's right across the street from my house. You know, that's probably the worst Dollar General in town. Because, you know, we are in the hood. Honestly. So, you know, it's um, acting accordingly, as we, as we say. But anyway, um, this is the Porsche 918 Spider in yellow. You know, I've been looking for this casting. I got the Hot Wheels uh, castings of this car. But, you know, that one's, uh, that one got the top off. Uh, this one still got the top on. I still hadn't gotten a silver one yet. I will one of these days, you know, online. But I'm kind of glad to have this yellow one. Even though it kind of looks a little, I don't know what it is about that top. You see how the uh, how the wind the windows on the side is a lot shorter you know, than the windshield. Yeah, that's kind of weird to me. I don't know how, I mean, I'm kind of glad to have it, but I don't know. I had to look into seeing the real ones on the online. But anyway, um, there's the headlights. And there's the taillights with the Porsche, uh, with the Porsche insignia with the 918 spider and then you got all this part right here uh, I believe that part right there is plastic on the top and then on the bottom you know that's all painted those are like the vents right there on the bottom uh, that part right there is where you know the engine sits but anyway, this is pretty nice. That'll go good with my with my Hot Wheels 918 Spiders. Now it's on to find the, the silver one.
Yeah, this is a pretty interesting one. Uh, this is the 1949 Curtis Sport Car. Give y'all a good look before we rip it out. Yeah, this this is pretty nice, you know. This is another casting that I've been looking for. They already uh, had the one in. They already came out with the one in red. Now they got this one in blue. Yeah, um, I actually like this one. And you know what? The interesting thing about this car is that I already heard of it. It's a little unfamiliar to a lot of people, but I got this book that uh, talks about different sports cars over the decades. Um, and, it's, and it just so happened to have this car in it. Oh, let me show you. Oh, yeah, I'm back. Um, I got this book right here. It's called Sports Car Chronicle. Yeah, it's a pretty nice book, uh, by the way. One of those coffee table books. Um, I bought this from from this store called Hastings. Um, some of y'all who live down south, live in the Midwest, you know, Southwest, y'all probably heard of, know about you know that store. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, they went out of business a few years back. But, you know, down here, they were here in my town forever. But anyway, uh, enough jibber-jabber. Let me show y'all. Excuse the silence. Ah, right, here we go. Uh, I got it. This is it right here. Um, this Curtis Sports Car. And then there's the guy who um, the guy who made it. His name is Frank Curtis. You know, that's him down there. He was more like one of those California hot rodders. So, yeah, um, I'll show y'all this book uh, when I talk about some other castings, you know, some other time. At least we'll have this book to reference things. It's a really good book. Got it for a pretty good deal. So, yeah, this thing is really nice. I wish I could find a red one. Oh, Curtis right there. And that's the back. Oh, he got the license plate right there. It's, you know, behind the, behind the bumper, which is pretty cool. And that's the interior. Yeah. All in all, this is a, a sweet little car. I'm a big fan of uh, classic cars, especially if they're convertibles. So yeah, this was, was this was a sweet little pickup. <laughs> Excuse me. And then for our last car, um, it's the 2018 Bentley Bentayga. It seems like every year they make these things a lot harder to open. I don't know if y'all noticed that or not.
So yeah, um, I usually don't pick this one up because um, it's got these blacked out windows. And on top of that, I don't even think it has an interior either. I could be wrong. Uh, but I just think they could have done better with this casting. Uh, that's a big um, that's a big letdown, a huge disappointment. Not putting an interior in a Bentley would I mean this is a luxury vehicle. I mean anybody who knows anything about these super ultra luxury vehicles is that, you know, the the biggest draw besides, you know, the way a car looks on the outside is the interior. So yeah, that was a huge letdown. But anyway, I decided to pick this one up anyway because I intend to do a little custom work with it. Um, this is going to be my little Frankenstein project. Because I got some, I already bought some resin and some silicone to mold uh, some clear windows uh, for this thing. And then I'm also going to build my own interior for it. It'll probably look at some pictures online to see what that looks like and then incorporate that into this. So, yeah, I mean, this is still a nice looking, you know, truck. It just need, you know, a little bit more TLC with the interior and the windows. The Bentley. I mean, you can see the out there. The exterior is well detailed. Headlight, taillight treatment. Standard matchbox thing. Nice Bentley uh, license plate right there. I like, I even like the color of these wheels. These smoky gray, you know, chrome wheels. That's pretty nice with this pearl white paint. Oh yeah, and this... This baby's also getting a wheel swap. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much all I have for today. I mean, tonight, I mean, I'll probably be uploading this tomorrow. So, anyway, um, thank y'all for watching. I really do appreciate it. Yo. Anybody who watches this video, leave as many likes as is possible um, so other people can, you know, get a chance to see this and see this video and subscribe if you hadn't already. But y'all can make up your own minds about that. But it does help me out as a new as a brand new YouTuber. So anyway, um, not much to show, but I hope it was worthwhile enough for y'all to take a look. So anyway, I'm going to be out of here. All right, see y'all.